次は私たちの番だから神隠しもあったじゃないんだ死んだやめてよここにきっと何かあるはずWe're big fans of some chick here on this channel. All right, we're playing as Misaki Aso. She gets to have a camera too. I entrust this prototype camera obscura to the descendants of the Aso family as proof of the validity of my research. I was with this camera obscura that I first successfully captured a powerful spiritual force on film. It was with. I thought that said I. It proved that my theories were correct, and it represents the first step I took on my unprecedented journey. I have yet to put this to the test, but it should also be theoretically possible to capture the forms of the deceased on film. However, the camera obscura has no strong effect on priests or has a strong effect on priests, mediums, and others who are able to sense the inconceivable. Hence, I forbid its indiscriminate use. The camera that sees the past? That's explicitly not what it does. All right. Uh, we have to find Madoka. Let's see. Well, what's her name? Oh. Am I allowed to go downstairs? Oh, oops. I am allowed to go downstairs. So the reason why I asked that is just because this is the direction the other girl went, right? What, what was her name? Uh, something is written on the paper. Memo, new patient. A new patient will be admitted to the second floor. Her name is Ayako, and she will be in room 207, Orchid Moon. Ayako will be admitted on the direct introduction of director Haibara, so that we must do everything we can to ensure that her stay is as pleasant as possible. All staff are urged to take the utmost care when dealing with her. I'll take a lot of care when fighting the boss. Uh, I wanted to check where Ruka was. Oh, it won't let me. Okay, well, you win this time, game. All these leggy girls can't run fast for some reason. Don't understand why. They got these huge legs. They should use them. Come on, ladies, hustle. Reveal to me your item secrets. I would like to pick stuff up. All right. 
Second floor room assignments. Room 203 Sacred Moon, Tsukimori Madoka. An introverted child, Madoka seems to be bullied by other children her age. If you come across any children bothering her, please discipline them. Shadow Moon, Aiba Iori. Due to the recent death of Tomoko Hinuma, patients were moved out of the old building, but Iori locked her door and wouldn't come out. She broke off the doorknob, so staff wishing to enter her room will need to apply force to the door. Rainy Moon, Sonohara Yoriko. Shows no reaction to mirrors, so she doesn't appear to ha have budded. But in conjunction with the worsening of her memory loss, Yoriko's mood and behavior are extremely unstable. She requires careful observation. Wizen Moon, Amaki Kazutugo. His kleptomania is getting worse, and he does not respond to warnings. Please report any thefts on Discovery. He gets angry when the items are taken to be returned to their owners, so please try to take them without him noticing. He's the kid that stole the mask last time. Orchid Moon, Ayako. Intense, aggressive personality, has a propensity to take pleasure in hurting others, displaying no signs of guilt, causes problems with her cruel pranks. I myself had to, had my ear cut by Ayako. Extreme caution required. Ooh, evade. That's Ayako right there. That first kanji in her name, her name literally means bad moon kid. The first kanji in her name is like an antiquated version of the kanji for evil. Um, like the same word that you would have in like Akuma for demon. It's a nurse call from room 203. Maybe Madoka is there. Blue says, hey, Toast. Hey, Blue. Welcome. Got a blue spirit stone because Blue said hi. Thanks, Blue. Nurse's logbook. The children have been playing tricks again, opening and closing the door to the second floor ward. I change the code, the door code regularly, but they seem to find out the new code every time I do. Apparently the code game is their new favorite way to play. They write the code for the door somewhere and give it each other clues about where to find it. I scolded them quite severely about this, and some tears were shed, but the director has told us to be vigilant about that door. The patients might wander the building if that door is left open, so please warn the children about playing with the door. If you see numbers written anywhere, be sure to clean them off. I don't want a repeat of last time. All right. Where is the... Where is the item that it's trying to point me to? Is it just this? That's gotta be. All right, and I can't even try the... I can't, like, try to brute force it. I just have to get the code. Callus Nier, of course, says good evening, Toaster in chat. Hello, Callus. Welcome. Oh, it's locked. Okay. I should have guessed that, given that they said they locked the door. Dumb, dumb Toaster. Silly me. All right. Uh, sorry, the low quality wall texture just, I found it captivating for a moment. <laughs> what the heck? Can't go in there either? Yeesh. Girl's just trying to get around. We know. It's exactly where I was going to go before the ghost showed up, so I didn't need the ghost to show me where to go. I'm smart. I've got a good walnut. <laughs> No, I didn't want to open the door, though. Child's drawing. A picture of a clock. I think I've seen this somewhere. Have you? 
I don't remember seeing a clock anywhere. Yeah. Nice, three blue spirit stones. We'll use that to upgrade our camera sooner or later. All right. Ah, I got stuck on the door. It's cool that this game got remade. Old fashioned clock shows faces the moon on its face. Some scratch marks near its feet where something has been erased. I feel a strong presence. Something might show up if I take a photo. The camera is supposed to have strange powers. So her camera reveals the past. 8365. It appears upside down, though. So should it actually be... Something different? 8395. Oop. Yeah, I guess it wasn't a 6, huh? The waiting on that font made it look weird, made it look like the 8 was upside down, so I read the 6 upside down as well. But it was a 9, apparently. I'm very curious how Maiden of Blackwater will be, the fifth Fatal Frame game. No. No, I missed it because I was too close. That's a bummer. Gonna be a hit and blow puzzle. What? 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 Oh, it's eight nine three five. I just did. I I'm, I'm dumb. What? Is it 8395? She's mad I didn't take her picture before. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Misaki's got a chunky camera. This thing's good. Dang. We got a real ray. Not bad. Well, that's interesting. I was expecting her camera to function a little bit differently, but not quite that differently. I didn't want to actually go in here, though. I wanted to check the other way first because I'm a rebel. Callus says, why do horror games have so many puzzles? Uh, they just do. 
they're a good way to lull uh like lull your expectations in the middle of combat they are uh a good way to give you obstacles that are not just combat so that you don't always feel super empowered Several pieces of paper have been posted on the notice board. The letters are smudged, making the writing unclear and difficult to read. Two oh three, that's it. What are we looking for? There we go. A moldy old letter lies in the gap where the door was removed. The fact that you are reading this means that I am no longer in this world. I am the last living member of my family. My mother died giving birth to me, and the fate uh, uh, and fate saw to it that both my father and brother met with fatal accidents. The memory of my family and the guilt of being the only one left alive was what kept me going. Now this sickness is taking even those small comforts away from me. My memory is the only place where my family still lives, yet there is nothing I can do to stop this thing from getting inside me and killing them all over again. I can't stand it any longer. I remain alive as the people inside me are killed, and the most frightening thing of all is the thought that before long I won't even be aware of what's happening to me. I lose everything, yet I feel nothing. My family faces death after death, yet I feel nothing. That is why I am choosing to leave this world while I have what little memory remains inside me, while I am still me. Spooky. I'm just scanning around for items before we go into the room 203. Just because this is giving me a ghost alarm, but not telling me where exactly the item it's trying to alert me to is. I don't know if it's actually a ghost alarm or like a... Ooh, an old cabinet. It's being used to store medical gowns of the kind worn by patients. Wow, what a waste. Guess we're just supposed to be here. Was that Madoka's voice? It's locked. Oh my god, multiple ghosts. Oh god. Having to fight two ghosts at once is an actual nightmare. Raph says, the reason why they have puzzles might have something to do with, with horror games, RPG, origins. Well, not all the horror games originated with RPGs. It's, it's really just survival horror. But yes, these games especially are, uh, are very influenced by Sweet Home. I'm probably gonna die.
Oh, she doesn't have any consumables either. I might actually die. This is bad. Oh god, she went Super Saiyan. got our first death that's pretty that's pretty brutal all right i guess we uh gotta gotta move i guess <laughs> uh Oh, but that means we get a second chance at getting the picture of the nurse, so that's kind of chill. We love that. What was the code? 8935? 8395? Something like that. Boy, howdy. This is going to be a rough encounter, I think. We might need a few tries on it. <laughs> nope. Okay. We've already gotten everything in here. I guess we don't get a second chance at that ghost. Oh. I guess this is before I got the code for some reason. Even though I passed by that lantern twice. Odd. This run speed is excruciating. But yeah, a, a big thing with survival horror games is their, their focus on splitting up gameplay, usually with riddles or puzzles. How did that light power through that door? That's incredible. Oh, I know where I have to go. over here and then we take a picture of the clock that's where it checkpointed where it left me watch it be randomized it's not 83985 okay I'll grab that in a bit paper and instead we got five red spirit stones okay that's that's cool oop not the right way We'll be prepared this time. Boom. Oh, the nurse is seeking help. That's good. Last time I thought she was trying to kill me. It all adds up now. Again, I'm just trying to reveal a potential item that might be around. doesn't really seem to be doing anything so I think it really is just this we did it
Could I have... I could have comboed off that, probably. Oh, no. the fatal frame doesn't seem that worth it. I guess it does double damage, but it doesn't get me any more points. Bite me, girl. Oh no, she went Super Saiyan this time. Did she not do that last time? Hope that helped. Let's uh let's go hit that auto save real quick before we move forward, shall we? This entire episode of this this VOD is gonna just be me walking back and forth across a single room. <laughs> nice. Okay. This is a very interesting game to read as a Suda51 game. I've played most of his games. Uh, and they are not really like this. They are, they are nor even Twilight Syndrome, Moonlight Syndrome are a little bit more out there than this. This is much closer to Twilight Syndrome than it is Moonlight Syndrome, of course, but. We already read this. And we've already grabbed everything. I don't know why it's saying there's something right like here. That's why it's saying it. There's a secret ghost. Spooky. Woman hanging herself. Didn't really look like that, but we'll call it. This game needs like an HD texture pack. Turn down the game volume for this fight just so that I don't blow out everyone's ears. Do the polite thing. me what I want. Oh no. Nice, got a double shot.
Come on. There we go. Oh no, she's gone Super Saiyan again. We don't really get a lot out of Fatal Framing them. It used to be really essential in combat. Now it's just kind of a nice bonus. There we go. I got him. Banage says, Fatal Frame? Haven't played that game in a while. Yeah, this is the fourth one. The remaster just came out, so... We're giving it a try. We played the other three on stream a while ago. The other ones, I should say. Uh, we know exactly where to go. A rusted newspaper rack containing several ancient looking newspapers. The paper crumbles to the touch and the print is too something to read. Too faint to read, maybe? All right, uh, let's really quickly bring the music volume down, sound effects volume down. Hopefully that will make things a little bit better for everyone. No, Ayako, quit it. Banash says, if you like Japanese-style horror games, uh, might I recommend you play Kuon? I have played Kuon. Thank you for recommending it. I have played almost every From Software game. Not on stream. I might play, maybe I'll play Kuon on stream sometime down the road. It's kind of a weird one. It's not actually a very good survival horror game. But it's very interesting, and that's what makes it kind of unique. It's very, very easy. Not that any survival horror game is really that difficult. But it's very odd. Uh, most people haven't seen anything about it, don't know anything about that game, but it's, it is definitely worth a look. It's very interesting. And in the collector space, it's one of the most expensive um, and rare PS2 games. So. Hmm, just trying to reveal the items. There we go. Ghosty gonna pop out? Nope. Ooh, we got the sun lens. Excellent. The lens we never use in these games. I would say my brand is certainly not FNAF <laughs> and more like if we're going to play indie horror like that, we're going to play like Signalis or... Uh, Perhaps you may need key or something like that. Flow. Oh, he's an enemy. Nice. What does this even mean? Why is it red all over? Oh god. Instant death? <laughs> 
Boy, howdy. So Signalis was the first uh the the first game I streamed basically on the channel. I just uh I don't have VODs for it because it was when we were still figuring out how to even really do this. So uh yeah, it is uh it's a very close favorite of mine. Ben says, How about Dreadout or Iron Lung? Uh I have not played Dreadout, I own it. Um, seems interesting. Iron Lung, I also own. Iron Lung seems dope. Very interested in that. We just finished RE4R, um, which was fantastic. I'm I'm going through. I'm doing pr uh, professional speed runs right now, trying to learn. Oop. Why didn't that let me through? Trying to learn the route for that. Um, so that's like a whole thing. Why? Why? Investigate room two, three. I have to do the boss fight again? Didn't I walk past the save point specifically so I wouldn't have to? Hex, uh, or Raph says, how about Deadly Premonition? I love the first Deadly Premonition. I have played it many, many times. Not so big a fan of the second. I can't believe we have to do this fight again. I'm extremely irritated about this because I saved specifically to get around it. Let me see if I can... Let's see, load and restart. Nope. Okay, interesting. I guess it just didn't save, even though it looked like it did. We'll make a specific point to save next time, so that we don't need to deal with this. Ben asks, do you like Silent Hill? And if so, what's your favorite one? Uh, I really love the first three Silent Hill games. I progressively dislike more and more every Silent Hill game after that. Uh, my favorite is Silent Hill 2. to this hell boss fight. Oh, God. Dang it. Get off me. Pest. Ah. I, I might die again. <laughs> this is super annoying. All right. Uh, we just got to punish him for getting too close to us. Nice. Okay, yeah, this formation works great for us. Oh, no, she went Super Saiyan again. Tsukamaita, I've caught you. Oh god. 
There we go. All right, we'll get you. Come at me. No. Ah. Ben says, I played Shattered Memories on my brother's PSP and it was not good. That's because you played the PSP port of Shattered Memories, which was not good. Shattered Memories is great on the Wii. It's one of the few post-Team Silent Silent Hill games that's interesting. It's written by Sam Barlow, who went on to make the very, very good uh, Her Story and the really incredibly good Immortality. I'm not a huge fan of Silent Hill Origins either, which was also by Barlow and on PSP. But Origins isn't really terrible. It's just kind of bland. But yeah, there's a there's a good chance we end up playing all the Silent Hill games again on uh, on the stream sometime. Silent Hill is very close to my heart because I grew up basically in the town that it takes place in. And I, I don't mean that in like a coy way. I mean like my hometown is 40 minutes south of Portland. <laughs> uh, so it is like the exact location that Silent Hill is described as being. There are many local landmarks that are very uh, fam uh, familiar to me as someone who grew up in an area that is very similar to Silent Hill. <laughs> this VOD is going to be unwatchable because of how much I've died to this one fight. Ben says, um, Ben says the story of Centralia is crazy. Uh, Silent Hill is not based on Centralia. That is just the movie. The movie's version of Silent Hill was filmed uh, in a composite of Centralia. The game is just based on a town in Maine. In fact, that's where Silent Hill takes place, is Maine. <laughs> Raph says, uh, Maine, so it's all Stephen King's fault. Yeah. Uh, it actually is. That's why Harry is a writer, for example, in the first game. He's very clearly meant to be like a Stephen King stand-in. I'm, I'm definitely going to get wrecked here. Get away from me. Oh. Oh, God. 
but we fatal framed her so she didn't go super saiyan so that rules Ben says, still a crazy story, though. Centralia is one of the more famous ghost towns. Yeah, Centralia, the story of Centralia is nuts. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely wild. Taff asks, was the low health indicator blinky in the earlier games? I don't think it was. I think it's only in this one. All right, we're going to do this fight with almost no HP now. What a shit show. I can't believe I can't believe we did so poorly. <laughs> When it comes to horror games, uh, I am, while not necessarily, I don't want to claim that I'm an expert because there are plenty that I haven't played, I generally have played all of the greats. I grew up playing horror games. Uh, my parents really like them. I really like them. So it's just been, been a thing my whole life. I've played almost all of them. It actually makes running a channel where I play survival horror games kind of difficult because just how many of them I have played, uh, kind of gets in the way of doing like blind runs for people. And those are the things that, you know, people tend to respond to the most positively. So I'm just looking for health items right now. I don't think I'll be able to go through here, but we'll see. Uh, Raf says, have you played the Siren games? I have played the first Siren game. I played it back when it first came out. In fact, I owned it because I'm old. All right. What is this about Hozuki dolls? <laughs> Narig says, give us, uh, give us poorly remembered runs toaster. I, I will gladly do some poorly remembered runs. Uh, the big thing is just I've played I've played a lot of the horror games recently. <laughs> if people want the channel to just be survival horror, I can just do survival horror games until we're literally done with the genre. Like that's fine by me. I'm happy to do that. Uh just beware of what you're asking for. <laughs> Raf says, do you have any hopes for the Silent Hill 2 remake? Yeah. I think I think it could totally be good. It could totally be awful, too. Um, but I think I'm not, like, a doomsayer about Bloober Team or about that remake. Like, I think it makes sense that Konami would want to remake it, and I think it makes perfect sense that they would ask them. Uh, the question as to whether or not they will do it justice is still up in the air. But in general, I think Bloober Team's biggest issue is their internal writing and, like, their ability to do <laughs> their own stories. And for the most part, I think adapting something really good um, kind of navigates around that. Get 
away from me, creep. He's just respawned now behind us. Raph says, I'm really excited for the other Silent Hill projects they announced. Yeah, me too. I'm really excited for the Silent Hill game by Ryukishi07. Um, because, holy crap, the idea of the Umineko guy doing a Silent Hill game is just a dream come true. That's Silent Hill F. And um, the, the Silent Hill game by the stories untold people looks sick. All right. We got this godforsaken key. <laughs> You'll blossom too? Okay. Hell yeah. Is that it? Okie doke. I got it. Let's pick that up. Black mask fragment left. Professor Asso's mask inquiries. A Kagura festival is held on this island on the day of the lunar eclipse. On that day, they say that all living souls tend towards the underworld and that the souls of the dead return from there. Since the moon symbolizes the soul here, the eclipse must be thought of as the consumption of the soul. I have read that the Rogat Kagura used to be performed using a mask called the Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. The document I read was very old and fragmented, but I ascertained from it that this black mask was said to have brought to the, uh, have brought to the island a disaster known as the Day of Tranquility. I have asked the head of the island about this, but he told me with a fearful look on his face that no such thing ever existed. It seems this Mask of the Lunar Eclipse is something of a taboo subject here. From what I have discovered, the mask is a dangerous artifact, but still I wish I could have, have had the chance to take a look at it with my own eyes. It could have been a great help in my investigations into the spirit world. Neat. Kind of cool. I do think that the text writing, like the, the actual like documents in this game, is a little bit better than it's been. Especially in Fatal Frame 1, which is the game that's closest to this one in terms of feel. Because the notes in Fatal Frame 1 were abysmally bad. They were so boring, so uninteresting. And they just told us stuff we already knew. <laughs> yeah! Don't let Ayako push you down the stairs. It's bad for your health. I saw that happen before here a long time ago. Oop, I don't want to trade. Ah, it's messing me up how circle and X are both <laughs> confirm <laughs> and cancel. In menus, circle is cancel and X is confirm, but when you want to interact with something, you press circle to confirm that you're interacting with it ah badly localized japanese games ah 